on this meter line and from this meter line draw straight vertical line and we can draw this side view as well so after drawing these three views front view, top view front view and side view of this standing solid we have to find out axis of this standing solid which is over here so from this point draw center line from here it will cut this meter line over here from this meter line draw a straight vertical line that is the axis of this standing solid it is like this this is the axis of this standing square prism and here it is given that the distance between this axis that is standing solid axis of this standing solid and the axis of this penetrating solid is 10 mm set a distance of 10 mm on this side draw a square like this mark here the axis which is at a distance of 10 mm on this side so this distance is 10 mm and this point as a center it bisects the axis it is 55 mm above the base so here from this xy line at a distance of 55 mm mark a point here or on this side like this this distance is 55 mm it could be marked over here like this it is given 55 mm above the xy line draw horizontal line and this is the center point for that solid which is penetrating solid so taking this point as the center we have to draw a square in such a way that one face or side of this square makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line so how to draw that so for that from this point draw a line which makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line like this this angle is 30 degree right after that on this line the side length of the square is given that is 40 mm so 20 mm on this side 20 mm on, the, on this side mark two points over here from these two points draw 20 mm on this side in such a way that this angle becomes 90 degree so we can complete this red colored square so that is the side view of this penetrating solid after that by taking projection from all these end points on this side from this corner from this corner and from this corner we can draw this front view and by taking projection from this front view to meter line we can draw its top view so first let me draw its top view like this its top view would be a rectangle these ends would be visible in the top view and as the, it is a penetrating solid inside this square black colored square it will not be visible hence it is rep that edge is represented by the dotted line as shown over here and this would be full line right about this this edge is drawn now what's about this edge this edge would be visible so from this point draw straight vertical line up to xy line horizontal line so this edge would be visible up to this end up to this end and here it would be inside this vertical square prism so not visible and this base would not be would be would be fully invisible so join that edge represent that edge with the dotted line full dotted line as it is towards the below side so it will not be visible so this is the dotted line which represents this corner now to find out the points of intersection in this front view let me pick up each points one by one first point is say this one so this is point number one this one right so from this point draw straight horizontal line that is projection line from that point right Ma draw vertical line from here it will cut meter line to here it will cut the square over here and from this point draw a straight vertical line an intersection of these two line is one point and this is that point so point number one so point number p1 would be here what i have done horizontal line from point one vertical line from that point it will cut meter line over here it will cut this square prism square over here and from that point draw straight vertical line so this is point p1 similarly point number p2 say here is point number two this one so from that point with the similar steps draw horizontal line like this transfer that point to the meter line and from this meter line to this square it will cut this black colored square at two points one point is here another point is here 
so mark those two points one point is here so this is point number 2 another point is here so from both these points draw straight vertical lines so it would be one one line would be this one and another line would be this one right so it will cut horizontal line from point 2 one point is here so this is point number p2 and another line is another point is somewhere here so this is point p2 right so join p1 and p2 with the straight line as it is visible if you look from this side if you look from here as shown by this arrow this 1 2 will be visible so p1 p2 both points are to be joined with the full line like this right after that what's about this hidden point so this point now let me draw the edges of this square standing prism on this side view as well so this if you look from this side this edge would be visible so that would be could be drawn like this this is visible this is visible similarly this edge is to the back side so it will not be visible hence represented by the dotted line like this up to this corner only and in between inside this square no lines would be there because it is a cut portion so no lines would be there now remaining point this point intersection of this dotted line and this red colored square so this is the point so from that point draw a straight horizontal line right it would be like this vertical line horizontal line and that will cut this square at this point so from this point draw straight horizontal line and it will cut the square over here draw straight horizontal line so here would be the points of intersection similarly for this point vertical line and horizontal line and we can find out the point over here point over here point over here with the same analogy and join all these points with the dotted line as it is to the back side and hence it will not be visible like this so this will also would be joined with the dotted line this points to be joined with the dotted line and this po two points are also to be joined with the dotted line end about this horizontal square prism it would be visible up to this end up to p1 and p2 up to p2 after that not visible so represented by this dotted line right similarly with the same analogy from here draw horizontal line vertical line and so on we can find out the points of intersection one point would be here one point would be here one point is here and here and join all those points those points which are towards us with the full line and the points which are away from us with the dotted line so these points are to be joined with the dotted line as they are away from us in side view if you look from here these are the points on this side so they would not be visible so this to be joined with the dotted line this to be joined with the dotted line and again here also the edge would be visible up to this end and after that it is again represented by the dotted line right and in front view also this edge would be visible up to this end up to this end here it would be visible up to this end and here this is standing solid so cut portion is there so this line will not be visible so it should be erased so this is the solution of this problem it is clearly drawn over here uh, you can see the solution this is final solution and insert the necessary dimensions say for example this distance is 10 mm offset axis this is a square you can write here sq40 take the lines dimension lines this is the length of this penetrating solid that is 110 mm so you can insert the dimension like this 110 and this is also square of 40 you can write here sq40 this height is 110 mm so this is the insertion of the dimensions in views so that it could be reproduced uh, it could be easily reproduced or redrawn so i hope the solution of this problem is 
clear to you now example number 3 <coughs> and the data for this third problem is given like this a cone of 80 mm diameter and base diameter of base and 80 and 60 degree apex angle is resting on its base on the ground it is completely penetrated by a square prism with edge of the base 25 mm and length of axis 100 mm the axis of prism is parallel to vp 20 mm above the base of the cone and 8 mm in front of axis of cone draw three views showing the cause of intersection if the side faces of the prism are equally inclined to horizontal plane so let we think about the solution of this problem in this problem a cone is given diameter 60 mm 80 mm but apex angle is given height of the cone is not given to us apex angle is 60 degree it is resting on its base on the ground so first we have to draw its top view that is a circle of 80 mm diameter and from the after that by taking projection from this top view we have to draw its front view and side view and in front view we have to draw its apex angle 60 degree so how to draw that let we see later on after that it is given that it is penetrated by a square prism with edge of the base 25 mm and length 100 mm so here penetrating solid is a square prism so let we think about the steps steps for thinking first standing solid is a cone 80 mm diameter apex angle is 60 degree draw top view front view side view by taking projections penetrating solid is a square prism side length 25 mm and height 100 mm axis is 20 mm above xy line it is given in the data and 8 mm away from the axis of standing solid so according to this condition draw top view and other views first we start from top view and side view and take projections select appropriate points and solve the problem so let we solve this problem number 3 it would be the given data would be like this first below x y line draw a circle of given diameter that is 80 mm that is drawn over here and draw x y line this is x y line which represents intersection of h p and v p and draw a circle below x y line 80 mm diameter after that take projections from these ends vertical line from here vertical line from here so that is projection from the end points of this circle and mark here the point now we have to draw the cone in such a way that the apex angle is 60 degree it means like this if this is the cone this is the front view of the cone what is apex angle so this angle is 60 degree this is given data so first we have to draw its geometry this angle is 90 degree this angle would be 60 degree so this angle also would be 60 degree so from this funda this fundamentals from this point we have to draw a line like this in such a way that this line makes an angle of 60 degree with xy line this angle is 60 degree right and draw a line so that line would be like this this is the line which makes an angle of 60 degree with xy line similarly from this point also draw a line which makes an angle of 60 degree this angle is 60 degree with xy line and find out the apex point so this is the apex point o dash for this case and this would be the point o in front view after drawing this front view let we draw its side view by taking projection from here draw here meter line take here projection from this points projection from here projection from this end it will cut meter line over here from here draw straight vertical line from here draw straight vertical line and draw its side view that would be a triangle like this and width of this triangle would be equal to the diameter of this cone that is 80 mm and this is the side view 
of this given coil. So now we have drawn three views of standing solid. Here also, this would be full line. This would be full line, and I, in, in, in between these two lines, there will the solid will not be there because it is penetrated by this square prism. It is given. Now we have to draw a square prism in such a way that its axis is 20 mm above xy line. So above this axis, draw another line like this, which is at a distance of 20 mm, like this. So that is the axis of penetrating solid. This is. We can draw a vertical line like this, and this distance is. 20 mm. So above this base, at a distance of 20 mm, draw horizontal line. This is the axis of this square prism, and it is also given that it is 8 mm away from the cone axis. So first we have to draw the axis of the cone. So this is the axis of the cone, represented by this red line. This is the axis of cone, and In front of axis of cone, at a distance of 8 mm, draw another line, say like this. So this is the axis of standing solid. So this would be the axis of horizontal square prism. Now we have to draw a square prism in such a way that this becomes its axis. So it would be, it could be drawn like this. This is the square. and it is also given that its all faces are equally inclined to both the planes hp and vp so it would be it could be drawn like this in this position all the faces makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line so this is side view now to draw its front view and top view let me take projection from here vertical lines from here up to meter line and horizontal lines from this end like this and horizontal line from here like this and from that we can draw its top view like this from here it would be visible visible and inside this cylinder inside this circle it would not be visible and but up to which end it would be visible that we that we have to find out so first we assume that it is not fully visible 